We're tracking some showers and storms pulling through central Missouri. A lot of this spurred by a cold front moving in from the northeast. That's what we call a backdoor cold front as it moves back down to the southwest. So really just the direction is going to make it what we call a backdoor cold front. Now this continues to pull back to the southwest, going to see this front start to stall, but still seeing some showers and storms as we head off towards lunch. Then after that, as it continues to drive off to the southwest, we're going to see a few strong storms possible just because we have a little bit more energy in the environment with those warming temperatures as we head off to the early afternoon hours. Now, it becomes a little bit more isolated as we head closer to 6 p.m. and throughout the overnight hours. Most of that's confined just down to the south towards the Lake of the Ozarks region and down towards Pulaski and Phelps counties. Now, this continues to drift off to the south, looking Pretty clear as we head off into Thursday, just some partly cloudy skies, but going to see some cooler temperatures on the backside of this front. Now, the severe risk for these storms today going to be a level one out of five. Main impacts, brief downpours, gusty winds, and some isolated small hail as the system continues to pull back down to the southwest. Now, with the temperature wise, we're not going to be as warm as we saw yesterday. Still going to be just a tad bit above average as highs will reach back into the lower 80s across much of central Missouri. But going to be very off and on for these showers and storms. Now we're tracking a secondary system as we head off towards Saturday and Sunday. So pairing those two systems with today, we're only going to be seeing up to two inches total widespread. So better than what we've been seeing the last several weeks for the seven day rainfall outlook, but not going to be where we need to be for us to kind of help get out of that drought conditions. Now into the extended six to 10 day wave precip outlook, we're going to be looking wetter than average. So Last several weeks, we've seen plenty of high pressure systems create what we call a blocking pattern. They've just kind of parked overhead and doesn't really allow cold fronts or low pressure systems to come back in spring showers. So a lot of those will start to break down as we head off into the extended forecast, which means we're going to be seeing more cold fronts and low pressure systems spring more moisture back into mid Missouri. Now temperatures will continue to warm up as we head off into Friday and Saturday. So winds out of the northwest, a little bit cooler on Thursday. But then switching back out of the southwest, looking mostly sunny on Friday. A great day to be out and about, especially by the pool. Then heading off into Saturday afternoon, we're going to be tracking some chances of some scattered showers and storms. Becoming widespread into Sunday as a more impactful cold front will start to slide back through the region. Looking at a high of 78 degrees, so nearly a 10 degree drop with the winds back out of the northwest. Then into next Monday and Tuesday, we're going to be tracking rising temperatures and even more chances of some showers and storms.